What is going on, you stallions and stallionettes? AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven. Today, I want to talk about burn in on OLED TVs and why it is particularly targeting or happening to gamers. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, so I'll be the first one to say it. OLED TVs are absolutely awesome. Bottom of the food chain would be edge lit LED screens, i.e. the outside or the bezels are illuminated. So basically it's just the exterior, the perimeter of your TV that's illuminated. Then you have independently backlit LEDs like this TV where there's separate panels in there that'll light up different quadrants or sectors of the TV to give it darker HDR in certain areas and then brighter brighter colors and more vibrant areas of the screen. Then you have QLED, which is pretty close to OLED, but not quite the same thing. And then of course, top tier, you have OLEDs, which basically every single particle is individually lit. There is no LED lights in that display. Every single Pixon in there is, is independently illuminated itself. But unfortunately, those TVs are very susceptible to burn in, not quite as bad as plasma TVs back in the early 2000s, but they are susceptible to burn in and unfortunately, it's happening to a lot of us, the gaming community. Now, why is that? Well, that is because burn-in happens when there is a stagnant or static image on your screen for a long period of time. Gamers spend a lot of time playing games, especially if you're a streamer or you're just an avid gamer. That's all you do. You come home from work, kick off your boots, ignore your kids, beat your wife, and then come over and play video games for about 10 hours. As you'll notice right now, just by looking at this screen, I've got these two grenade indicators up here on Halo. I have a health bar, and then you have this map right here. Granted, things are changing inside this map and whatnot, but still, the perimeter, the outside of that map is always there. Think about just about any game you play. You have some kind of a HUD or heads-up display with, you know, your, your ammunition, your whatever spells you have equipped, your map, your radar, and that is constantly on the screen. And unfortunately, this is causing a lot of burn-in issues on OLED TVs. I am not by any means saying don't get an OLED TV. I think they're absolutely gorgeous, but they also come with a pretty not gorgeous price tag to, uh, to, to reflect their performance. But uh, for us gamers, because we have that static image on there of either a map or a radar or whatever, a lot of burn-in is happening. In case you don't know, burn-in is where that image is permanently there. So you're watching football or something and you're seeing that a little silhouette, an outline uh, of that, that map on there. Uh, and it basically ruins your display. I mean, at that point, your TV's shot. It's always going to have that image on there. But there are a couple of things that you can do to remedy this. Now, the first one is just game less. Just kidding. That's not even realistic, so we're just going to toss that out the window. But what you can do, a lot of games, at least first-person shooters that I played, actually allow you to go into the settings and change where you want the mini-map. Do you want it in the top left, bottom right? And if you're going to, you know, be playing the same game quite a bit, maybe you might want to switch it up a little bit, you know, a couple weeks in the bottom left, a couple weeks in the top right. So that way the TV's not getting that same static image in there the whole time. Or if it's a game that has a whole lot of stuff going on, on the screen, like an MMORPG, and you don't really use all of those heads up displays, again, go into the setting, turn off some of the things that you're really not using and is actually going to cause burn in in the long run. The next one would be after a long gaming session, maybe six, eight hours, take a break. And I don't necessarily mean turn your TV off, off. You can just switch over to something like Netflix, YouTube, do something for about 30 minutes to an hour that's actually getting the image moving again. All those particles and neurons moving around, all those pixels moving around in there so it kind of erases that static image that's starting to burn in. Also, new OLED TVs do have technology baked into the user interface where they actually try and counteract burn in as much as possible. So it'll literally look for areas on the screen and it'll honestly, it'll try and scrub or refresh that area. So you might see some flickering and stuff going on around your map or HUD. That is literally your TV trying to not burn its image in. And that's pretty much it. You can't be scared of the burn in. It could happen, but unless you're playing hours of a game every single day and you're not using the tricks that I talked about, switching your map around or maybe just taking a break every couple hours to watch some Netflix or YouTube, um, it's very unlikely that you're actually going to get burn in, but it, it, they are susceptible. It is a legit thing. It even says in the owner's manual when you buy an OLED TV to, to uh, avoid static images, i.e. what us gamers see with maps and stuff like that, because it does cause burn in. So just thought, thought I'd cover this real quick, guys. Drop in the comment section below if you own an OLED TV and you've experienced any burn in yourself. Hopefully you haven't. If you enjoyed this video, it was beneficial for you. Liking it does help it to get seen by more people so this information can reach and help them as well. Subscribe for more tutorials like this and hit that notification bell so you're aware when my videos come online. See you guys later.